Let's head over to the Beko Kitchen and welcome back the internet chef Bridget Davis. Great to Hi, see you. How are you? Always a pleasure to see Always you. Always a pleasure to be here as well. And we're going to be learning a bit more about your weight loss journey, but more yes. importantly, we're going to be making some cottage pie, but it's healthy yeah, cottage pie. I know, because it's one thing as a good Kiwi girl, mm. I love my pie. Same. I love my pie. So even when I'm thinking about being healthy, I have to make sure that I get some pie. And yeah. how do we make it healthy though? We take out all the things that are not healthy. Okay, well, well and then what are we going <laughs> to put the best in? Cauliflower? Yes. Yeah. Cauliflower. Cauliflower mash instead of potato mash for a start. We've got a really lean beef mince as well. And we're getting lots of spices and flavours. Mm, yeah. yeah. Okay, looking forward to this. Mark, you ready? Yeah, no, no, that sounds really good. Yep. I, was just, I was noticing there's no butter on here. That's the first thing you <laughs> oh, said. Yeah, Where's yeah. the butter? Where's the butter? <laughs> I'll give it a go. It's a healthy cottage pie, Mark. Yeah. Okay, healthy. And it'll be tasty as well. Right, well, she didn't get lost. She's found her way back <laughs> to the kitchen, Bridget. Um, Had to earn my keep, right? No, and that was <laughs> Really interesting listening to your whole journey. Very inspiring. Yeah, and now you. you're going to help everybody on that journey by making a healthy cottage pie. I Everyone wants a good cottage pie. I'm seeing a lack of potatoes, though. Yes, because we don't <laughs> actually need potatoes for this. Really? And one of the things, I mean, I, don't get me wrong, I grew up eating mm -hmm. potatoes. I mm. love potatoes, but they're not so great for us. There are, well, or should I say, there are better options. Okay, good. And one of those better options just happens to be cauliflower, which is in season at the moment. Oh, nice. I was in the Autada flea markets on the weekend. It was $2.50 for the most gorgeous big cauliflower. Right. So, you know, eating healthy can actually save you money as nice. well. Nice, yeah, and yeah. I like cauliflower rice too, so that's Pr another good alternative. There you go. Have you ever yeah. tried it fried? Yes. Yes, like in a pan and just do cauliflower fried rice. It's mm. wonderful. Okay, so Mark's doing all the hard yes. work while we just gas bagging. Yes. That's how we like it here in the cafe. To. Yeah, that's yeah. right. But if you notice how, how Mark's cutting it, so he's cutting it across, so we're okay. almost making big steaks of it, because that's going to cook nice and fast. Because one of the other things that, that is really important when we are thinking about eating healthy is how quick is it to make these meals. We don't want to be in the kitchen too long. We're busy people. True, true. So this is one of the little secrets how Mark's even cutting the cauliflower. A little bit of seasoning, not too much there, Mark. Sorry, we're watching sorry. the sodium intake. <laughs> <laughs> the chef just comes I can't out. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, just half of that. Half of that. I mean, if you weren't eating healthy, could you add butter to this recipe? Oh. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, there you, you go. You absolutely could, but I want to. I want to see if we can make this, and you'd still no, uh, yeah. be quite pleased by uh, it. No, I'm excited. Yes. No, because there's lots of like spices. A chef down and, and, yeah, it and is a bit of a chef off. Yeah. A chef off. So we're going to bring that to the boil. Yep. Um, and while that's boiling, that. we can start to create the base. Now, do you? You know, we cut it into steak formats. Mm -hmm. it, it, does, it, does it matter if it breaks up in the pot? Well, we want it to we be nice and, keep... and mushy. Very okay, much like, it's, it's similar to boiling potatoes. Okay, great. Except there's Brilliant. no potatoes. Nice work. Okay, great. <laughs> That's the only difference. Okay, so we've done the cauliflower. Yep. What do we need to do next? Next, uh, Mark is actually going to prepare the ingredients to go into okay. our pan. So we've got a, a heavy base pan on there. Mm -hmm. And what we're going to do is we're going to create the... The, the mince version of it. Okay. So once again, we're looking at a product that's not expensive yes. to purchase, yet we're going to create something delicious out of it. Because I'm not sure if you've noticed just the colour yeah, of my incredible. mince. It's incredibly red, yeah. so it's got low fats. This is a really lean beef mince. Some okay. places say to us, oh, it's like a five-star rating beef mince. So we want to go as high as we can for what our budget can afford. Okay, fair enough. Yep. Good point. Yep, so we're going to put a little bit of oil into our pan as well. Okay, actually, cool. Are you I, bad to do that, Mike? No, I actually put too much in there. <laughs> I don't know, I told fibs. I, no. <gasps> You're going to put something else in no. first, aren't you? We're actually going to be putting tamari in there. This is an oil-free, okay, cool. no-fat recipe. So I have tamari there, which is a gluten-free, low-sodium... Um, is that enough? More? Yeah, it's very similar to soy sauce. No, that's I can right. smell and it. Yep, we're going to go onions, onions next. First. Yeah, we'll go onions next in there. <laughs> a little bit of that goes in. So already we've got flavour happening there. Okay. Give it a bit of a stir. We're going to throw some, some garlic in there. We can just crush the garlic and throw all that in as well. And a very oh, it similar to like, smells good. Yes, because we've just given flavour. So we've got no oil in here, okay. which is amazing. And in fact, a lot of my recipes don't have any oil, would you okay. believe? Oh, nice. So, so this is a soy sauce alternative, is it? It is actually, a, it's a byproduct of miso production. So you oh, know okay. how, how good miso tastes? Yes. This tastes amazing. Oh, okay. Not as heavy as soy, okay. low sodium, so it's really, really good for us, but also gluten free. Okay, nice. Which is fantastic. Oh, so we've yeah, got our onions yes. going there, we've got our garlic in. Okay, and nice. now we can think about adding our mince in as well. Once again, we've got that really, really lean quality mince. Break it all up. Yep. I mean, I grew up with mince. This was pretty much five or six days a week for <laughs> <laughs> so. eating mince. But I can remember there was like always this oil slick. <laughs> you know, on the mince, <laughs> and you sort of have to scrape off the fat, especially if you got a little bit cold. Or you get your toast, your white toast. Oh, yes, or you, <laughs> you get your white toast, up. absolutely. Yeah. Uh, you and I had the same childhood, yeah. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was always delicious, 
but I don't know if it was that great for us. So here's a better version, just a slightly better version. So now that we've got it to this point, we're going to start to think about spices. So the right. spices that work really, really well with this dish is what we have in here is a little bit of um, coriander powder. Okay, cool. Well, we'll do that in a minute because we're out of time in the segment already because we're just having too much fun. We have to finish off this cottage pie. So we cooked our mince and, and just before we broke, you're about to put some seasoning in it. I was. In it. Very yep. important step is because we're going to add flavour to that now. Okay, good. So the, the spices that I have in front of me, I have a little bit of coriander, ground yep. coriander, because I sprinkle that on top. Okay. And once the, the spices hit the heat, they begin to what we call bloom. Okay. So, that, so nice. I've heard mm. that um, a spice, once it goes onto the heat, will increase in flavour tenfold. Okay. So we're doing wow. this now. We've got some, I'm going to add a bit more heat you to your pan yeah, there. Crank her up a give bit. Her, give it a bit of a stir as, you you're, as you're going there. Okay. And in the meantime, over here, we're going to drain the cauliflower because we're going to make our mash from it. Yes, yeah, so that's cooked. So it's nice and soft now. Oh, it looks wonderful. And we Look want it to be that. really, really mushy as well, that cauliflower. So it gives us a really good blend. Nice, nice. And we're going to flavour it. So instead yeah. of the butter, we've got uh, roasted garlic. <laughs> <laughs> Which is really good. So you get yeah. a whole garlic clove, chuck it in the oven for about 20 minutes, about 180 degrees, you know, and then if you peel it and you can sort of have a look at that, yeah, you know, you get these be <gasps> beautiful roasted yeah. uh, cloves. And how good is roast garlic as opposed oh, to even fresh, right? Yeah, but yeah. the flavour in there is absolutely yeah. fantastic. So that's yeah, what we're trying to do. Yeah, and if you're having any trouble peeling that, Mark, got a great hack for you. <laughs> great little yeah. There you go, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, roast garlic in there. We can also add spices into that cauliflower mash as well. Yeah, we've got some well. spices, haven't yep, we? Yep. So we've got a little bit of nutmeg. Yep. A little bit of nutmeg. And a little bit of cinnamon as That's well, just it. for some sweetness. Yeah, exactly. So it's hard to believe that Christmas spices actually work really well with cauliflower. Yeah. And the other thing we could have added in there is some finely chopped fresh rosemary also works oh, really nice. well. Yeah, yeah okay, really nice. well. Right, we're at a good point here. Well, no, well, look, and I'll be completely honest, what if this happens to me at home? It gets a little bit dry. What, what, is there any way you can fix it? You've got a great question there. And you know what? I do have a way I can okay. fix it. And this for me is how we make a pie with gravy. Ah, We're adding nice. some water. And you might think you're making soup. Right. <laughs> It may look a little bit soupy, but we're actually creating the gravy because ah, you know we all that tamari and, spices, and the garlic yes. and all the spices. So now we've got this wonderful, and you can smell. I can smell the that. flavor coming up. So that's our gravy, and we're very close. Once we've done mash, we're almost ready to go to plate up. Brilliant. Yeah, because this is not a pie that has pastry. This is a pie that is made up of this wonderful filling and this wonderful topping. Ah, you don't even need a little machine. I know, because I was thinking do with before. The <laughs> <laughs> or a masher would work masher really, really well. Good, yeah. Really, really well. Or a Ooh. mic usually works well for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, every kitchen needs today. a mic. Yeah. Every kitchen, yeah. So we just want to be nice and smooth. So if you, you know, we've got mm -hmm. sort of a vegetable okay. element with the cauliflower, Bridget. Yep. So if we yep. wanted to serve this with some more greens, what do you reckon would go down? Ah, you know what's really good at the moment? Once yep. again, I was in the markets, walking yep. through the markets, all tata and mangere, asparagus is in oh, season. Oh, yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. and nice. so I saw spears of asparagus, whole bunches, three for five dollars. Brilliant. In the market. So that would be amazing. You just lightly blanch the asparagus. Yes. Doesn't need any seasoning. And literally, we're going to put that on the side of this potato. Um, this potato. Sorry. Cauliflower mash. <laughs> and potato. cottage pie fake potato. And um, we'll have an amazing dish. Yeah, no, everything is smelling yeah. brilliant. All right, here. we can start to plate up. I'm, I'm liking what I see now. Okay. Right. Right. In there it goes. Do you want me to do this? Yes. Okay, cool. Look at that. Oh, it looks pretty good. I know, doesn't it? it smells pretty good. What about the cheese? Do we add cheese to it? <laughs> vegan yeah, no, vegan nice cheese? Of cheese in there and there. No cheese? Okay. And give it a bit of a smooth out and then okay. we go with our topping. Okay. Which nice. is looking pretty good That's too. That's quite good. You've got a little smooth. bit of texture in there. Yeah, you're going to have a good. taste, Chef? Yeah, I'm going to have a taste. <laughs> Happy Chef? Yeah, it's nice. really good actually. There you go. Yeah. It's really nice. Yeah. Okay, yes. cool. So I guess we're just going to put that in the top. Yeah, yeah, we are. Yeah, That's nice. it. Well, we can do that um, uh, before we see the um, finished product at the end of the show. How's that? You get yeah. it ready for us, Bridget. And Bridget's Kitchen on Facebook, That's if we want to know yeah. more. Yeah, all nice the recipes. Work. Nice work. Thank, Thank you, you so Thank much. You. And of course, we will put the recipe on our website. And of course, Bridget'sHealthyKitchen.com is where you can find other great recipes to help with your weight loss journey. Speaking of gorgeous, Bridget is with Mark in the kitchen. And that looks gorgeous too. Look at that. Cool. Just going to finish now. A few chives on there. Beautiful. Looks nice. good. Bring it over, guys. Thank you so much, Bridget, for your healthy go. cottage pie. Can't wait to tuck into that. Nice. Halloween tomorrow, so you cooking anything spooky? Uh, no. But we <laughs> all did a northern coconut curry noodle soup with a chicken.